Hey guys, it's Bakington, back at it again. Chocolate chip cookies are an absolutely delicious mainstay of the baking repertoire. However, you can make them so much nicer by browning the butter. Let's go and see how. In a saucepan over medium-low heat, melt one cup of butter. What you're looking for is a really nice amber sort of color, and just before you think you've got that, take it off the heat. That way, you don't burn it. As you can see, my butter is taking on some color, so I'm going to take it off the heat. I'm going to leave my butter to cool for a little bit. In this bowl, I've got my butter plus one and a half cups of sugar. You can use however much brown or white sugar you want. I use one cup of brown sugar and half a cup of white sugar. See all the slightly orangey, amber colored bits? Those are the butter solids you've cooked. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then to your sludge, add in two eggs. Hell yeah, Ah, Second time's the charm and... Hell yeah! Mix. Ooh. Ooh. Then add two and a half cups of flour with a teaspoon of baking powder mixed in. And of course, these are chocolate chip cookies. So I'm going to add in one and a half cups of bittersweet chocolate chips. Now mix this whole lot together. After a few minutes, you should have this really thick batter. Now, we can't bake them right now, they're too soft. So we're gonna throw this into the fridge for at least an hour, but preferably four hours. When you're ready to bake your cookies, space them out a couple of inches apart and roll out golf ball sized bits of dough. Alternatively, if you didn't wanna bake them all right now, you can roll them out on a sheet pan like this. Put the sheet pan in the freezer, freeze them for a few hours until they're nice and hard, put them in a bag, and then you have them ready just to take one or two out whenever you wanna bake cookies. Say goodbye to the days of prepackaged cookie dough. 12 to 15 minutes, you'll find that your cookies are wonderfully soft, but also fully cooked. And there we have it, brown butter chocolate chip cookies. The brown butter really does add a really nice nutty flavor. And they're basically just a regular chocolate chip cookie, but slightly fancier so you can show off to your friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed this stream. If you did, let me know in the comments section, like, subscribe. If you have a question in the comments, if you want to see a recipe done, let me know as well. And the question of the day today is, what's your favorite cookie? All right, guys, see you next time. Peace.